Foundation Ministries is our church that is based in Johannesburg and our overseer or our founder is Bishop N.M. Klimba. Hallelujah to God be the glory. And the lady before you, the child of God, the son of God, uh, is Pastor Nancy Sivanyoni. That is my platform name. Hallelujah to God be the glory. We invite you to come and be blessed. Hallelujah. Come and be blessed in the house of the Lord. Dimila Sotale Maha Salamahai. E Labrado Kosena Mahai. We invite you. Uh, we ask you to subscribe to our channel. Become the member of our community. Hallelujah. Click the thumbs up to show that you were blessed. Share our videos with other people. And most importantly, comment on our videos if by doing so you are increasing more chances of our videos being visible to all youtube viewers hallelujah hallelujah somebody might be going through a process that is difficult that they might find themselves coming across our videos that will speak to them hallelujah maybe they are in confusion in the state of perplex hallelujah in the state of confusion they're not really sure whether their work with god is precise or they need to do more and they might come across our videos that might give them clarification that might give them a clear understanding of who they are to know their identity in Christ and also to cultivate their relationship with God. Hallelujah to God be the glory. We thank the Almighty God for this blessed Sunday. We thank the Almighty God that we have entered in a new month of March. Hallelujah. That it is not by our power nor by our might, but by the Spirit of the living God. We thank the Almighty God that He has kept us safe and protected us last month of February. That nothing, no harm come near our dwelling place, oh Father. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said last Sunday that it is imperative, it is crucial, it is important that we always thank the oh God Almighty for every goodness that He does over our lives, for every mercy that He gives to us every single day. Hallelujah. That we ought to take nothing for granted just to be alive, just to be healthy. To God be the glory. Yes, the enemy will always attack our health, but the Lord God Almighty will always come and deliver us. The Lord God Almighty will always come and heal us. The Lord God Almighty will always come and restore us in the mighty name of Jesus. But he said, only those who trust in the Lord, they shall never be disappointed. So where is your trust? Whom are you trusting? I urge you to trust the Lord God Almighty. I urge you to trust in him. To trust in Him with every fiber of your being, with your family, with your children, with your spouses, with your parents, with your relatives, with your friends, with your colleagues, with your neighbors, anybody that is attached to you. They will be blessed because you believe in the Lord God Almighty. That whenever they bring cases to you, you transfer your cases unto the Lord. Eshatani masori ande merande berokosia Maria dosha namahaya Father we thank you We give you praise, we give you honor God We give you praise, we give you honor God Ole masona nahia kodele asia mahaya Thank you Lord Jesus that you are our shepherd And we shall not want Malia basende lehodia Ela brado sana hashia Thank you for hiding us under your pavilion, under your secret place, O oh God. Ela masoya, thank you that your hand is upon us, O oh God. Ela masona ne mana nasiya manda rabahia. Ela brado shan ne menahasa nahaya. 
Adabi ya mosa nene na hasia for you said in your word of Father God that we ought to meditate upon your way the day and night. That we ought not to sit in the counsel of the wicked, O oh God, and not take their advices or even do what they do. But we ought to stay in your word and meditate upon it. He said, if we do so, we are like trees planted by the river. Trees that will never run dry, but they will always bear fruit in season and out of season. He said, whatsoever that we do, we shall prosper. Because we are planted by the riverside. We are planted in you, O oh God. We shall never walk in darkness, but we shall walk in light all the days of our lives, O oh God. Father, we thank you that you are our shield and our buckler. That you are our refuge and our fortress, O oh God. We thank you that you are our beginning and end. We thank you that you are Alpha and Omega. We thank you that you are Al Shaddai, Al Donai. Father, your word said some, they trust in their chariot, but we trust in your God. Father, you say, although 1,000 may fall on our side, you say 10,000 may fall on our right side, but no harm shall come near our dwelling place. Father, we thank you that in this month of March, you are keeping us safe. You are fighting all our battles and all those, Father God, that wish harm upon our lives, we shall deal with them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say, no word, no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. And any tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned by you, my Father. We thank you that you are a strong tower where the rushes run to, they are protected, O oh God. Father, you said many rushes go through many problems. But you deliver them from all of them, not some from all of them, oh God. Father, we thank you that even this morning, oh Father, you shall deliver us from the hands of our enemies, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, that you have hidden us under your wings, oh Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we adore you this morning. We give you praise, we give you honor, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. We bless our families under your shelter, oh God. We bless our children under your shelter. We bless our spouses, our relatives, our parents, our friends, and our families under your shelter, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ale brado sanda ne maha sele mahaya ena ma so na mahaya. Father, we thank you that we saw this beautiful day. We thank you, Father, that we saw this beautiful month. That we'll be celebrating all oh, the death and the resurrection of our Christ, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we know that the enemy has orchestrated his own plans. He has pre-programmed his own plan, but it shall not be our portion, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, for your hand is upon us, O oh God. You have protected us and shielded us under your tabernacle, under your secret place, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we surrender our morning to you. We surrender our spirit, our souls, our heart, and our bodies to you. We surrender our mind, our imagination, our thinking process, our intellect, our will, and our emotions unto you. We surrender our families, our children, O oh God, our properties and our possession, everything that pertains to us, everything that is linked to us, O oh God. We surrender to you, O oh God. We say, take over, take over, take over. Oh, let us die while you increase. Let us die while you increase. Let us die while you increase. For it is no longer us that live, but Christ that lives on the inside of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you that you are our Godhead. We thank you that you are the first or not the last. We thank you that you are above and not beneath. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. We thank you. Eshantani ma kodali ande belenze la handa la haya akakalia ma kakalia ma kakalia ashatani mrando mela sana haya akakalia ma sota le brada daga rabazi braka delebosa Lord anoint my tongue with your voice anoint my voice my mouth my tongue Oh, Labrador, Sata, we plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. 
all over this sanctuary, all over this place, oh God. Lord, I cover each and every casket with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my viewers with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Everything that pertains to me, oh God, let it be soaked in the blood of Jesus. We ask for the blood of Jesus to speak on our behalf. We ask for the blood of Jesus to fight on our behalf. We ask for the blood of Jesus to form a firmament of protection upon us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and let the angels of security and protection, the angels of fire, the angels of deliverance, the angels of worship and praise and intercession, let it be deployed upon this territory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask for your kingdom. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, oh God. In the name of Jesus, speak through me, oh God. Use me as your oracle. Use me as your pleasure, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, speak to us, our Father, this morning. Speak to us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We invite you, Abba Father, we invite you, Master Jesus, we invite you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we know that your word says, once two or three are gathered with your name, Father, you are there in the midst of God. Father, we thank you that you are with us even right now, O Father, for this, and with your viewers, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Akakalia, makakalia, 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 makakalia. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, holy, 
Thank the Lord God Almighty for this beautiful day. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. My brethren, today, um, you know, there are messages that God likes to, he likes to bring where it's, it, it's like a question but it's actually trying to lead you to the right path or for you to get to understand um, what you ought to be or what you ought to understand about yourself being a child of God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So I love the, the, when God gives us those messages that are like questions where God is questioning your identity, where God is questioning your position with him, where God is, 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 is questioning your contentment, hallelujah, when it comes to him, hallelujah, because the Lord in this end time is trying to get rid of all the religious acts 
that Christian has picked up along the way. You know, there's been a lot of infiltration in the house of the Lord. People who come and stage themselves as servants of God, and yet they are from the pit of hell. They are the agents from the pit of hell. They are so-called false prophets. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So then now the Lord is in, is in the business of cleaning out his house. Hallelujah. But it cannot be done unless we are involved in the whole process of cleansing. We are all involved in the whole process of consecration. Hallelujah. That we ought to revisit our relationship with the Lord every single year. We ought to look at and assess our relationship with the Lord. How was I the past year, 2023? Was my work with God according to God's plan and purpose? Did I not do what God has instructed me to do? Uh, where should should I fix? Where should I correct so that I ensure that in this year of 2024, whatever the enemy has, 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 has pre programmed in this year to take forth, <coughs> hallelujah, it will not come nigh my dwelling place. It will not affect me as my with my family. But that could only happen if we sit down and do a spiritual navigation on a spiritual walk with God and see where we need to correct. I know even now in 2024, where is my era of struggle? And I've, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it to the Lord every time I'm in prayer. I say, Father, help me. I can see this element in this aspect with my walk with you that I am lacking there and there. So it's imperative for us uh, to understand that God has gone past uh, uh, Christian who are acting Christian who wants to be applauded for everything that they do in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is moving with those who want to move. The Lord is moving with those who are taking their relationship with God to another dimension, to another level, who are raising their standard with the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is no longer dealing with babies. Hallelujah. Because even babies who've just received Christ, he's elevating them. Those who accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior in these end times, he's elevating them. He's elevating them to a higher dimension in such a way that those who have been Christian for years, who have taken Christianity for granted, who have thinking that they have taken God for granted, unfortunately, I am sorry for them because those who've just received Christ now in this end time they will be filled with new wine they will be filled with so much fire that the way the lord will will elevate them aliba sonda mela sora imrando mesota those who are not cultivating their relationship with the lord they will be entered with the spirit of deception they will be entered with the spirit of jealousy and they will start being jealous of those who just joined christ now because they will see the level of their maturity that how can this be when these people just accepted Jesus Christ three months ago and that they are walking in sign miracles and wonders that they are walking they are having the fruit of the spirit are being manifested upon their lives while they are still stuck in the old salvation where they are telling us that we've been Christian ever since 40 years, 30 years ago and still talking about past glory but we want to speak about the glory of today the glory of now we are now tired of hearing glories of yesterday but we want to know what God is doing now because the God we are serving now is a God of now the things that God is doing now he is is abating his glory to a higher dimension but is moving with those who are willing to walk with him is elevating those who are seeking more of him who saying there is more to God than what I can see there is more to God than what I'm receiving there is more to God than what is manifesting in my life and they are going to the secret place and they say my father what do I need to do what do I need to go what do I what do you want me to do for you so that I reach that level of maturity so that I can walk in power because now we are in the end times where people are tired of hearing us preaching the gospel that has no power but they want to see the demonstration of power because Jesus Christ came on earth and he demonstrated that after he teach and preach he healed he delivered he set people free hallelujah to God be the glory so if you are the Christian that in this time you are still complaining about certain things you are still complaining 
Soya, about you serving God in whatever sphere that God has, has elevated you or has, 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 has shown it to you that I want you to help my ministry by helping it financially. I need you to help my ministry by intercession with prayer, whatever it is that God has called you to do in the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. We ought to do it with the love of Christ. That everything that we are doing now, we're not looking for people's applaud. And in fact, if you are really moving with God, you are going to shake things. You are going to move things. You are going to say things that will offend people. It's not the time to be making friends in the house of the Lord. But it's to carry those who want to be carried. It's to move with those who want to move. Those who want to hear the truth. Who want to hear conviction. And after hearing conviction, they change. They take those convictions and, 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 and correct whatever that they need to correct. They do not stay in the state of offense. They have moved beyond the state of offense. They have moved beyond the state of being hurt. Of being offended. They have moved beyond that, that level. The, more, the, the, the way they are seeking for God, they do not want anything to disturb them on their way. They don't have time to be talking about pity issues in the house of the Lord. Because they know that there's a bigger agenda that is far ahead. And they already know what the enemy has, 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 has planned for the body of Christ. So they don't have time for these nitty gritty uh, issues that are in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And now they understand that whatever service they render in the house of the Lord, it is not unto men, but it is unto God. Yes, we will render that service to men, but we are doing it for who? For God. So once I understand why I serve in the house of the Lord, whether financially or, 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 or spiritually, or, or, or me worshiping, or me uh, uh, interceding, whatever, ushering, whatever, whether coming early in the house of the Lord and clean, if I do that with an understanding, with the revelation from the Lord God Almighty, that whatever service that I render in the house, in the kingdom of God, I render it unto God. Yes, I will do it in, unto men, but it is unto God. Because God can come, we can serve him physically and see him here and be serving in him. But in his way, he says, if we cannot uh, 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 um, um, honor the man that we see, now how, how are we expecting him to believe that we honor him? Because God works with men. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So I said to you, my brethren, that today the Lord is giving us a, a, a message that is like a question. He says, which seal is upon your life? Which seal? Meaning there are many seals. But there is a distinguishment which will, de will, 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 will define you with regards to the seal that is upon your life. So if God is saying which seal is upon your life, the Lord is asking us a, a, a very important question. Many of us, we think we have the seal of God, but only to find we do not have. But let's first define uh, the word seal on its own. What are we talking about when we're talking about seal? Hallelujah to God be the glory. So the definition of a seal, it is a tool that, is, that, that, that has a design. Uh, it, it's, it is a tool that has a design on it. Uh, it can have a, 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 a picture of something covering it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And that seal was mostly used. It's mostly used by king. It was mostly used by king. I don't think now it is uh, applicable. But in the Old Testament, the kings used to use the seal whenever they implement laws. That seal of signature will always uh, uh, confirm that law that has been passed or the law that they have agreed, that they have agreed with his governors that they are going to release this law. So that law can never come into or can never be legislated until it has been, it has been sealed with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the tool that has a, 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 a signature on it. So the signature of the old time will, will have a certain 
picture or certain sign or certain design so the king will be the one after the, he has agreed with his governors that this is the law that we are passing and then it will be written and then after it's been written he will seal it with his signature ring so kings used to have a ring that ring will have a seal on it will have a design or will have a picture on it that is covering it hallelujah so once the law has been written has been inscripted on 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 the on the paper that they used to write on and then they'll roll it up and and put a nice ribbon on it and then the king will 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 dip his that that part of the because normally that that sign that seal will be on top of the ring where there will be a design or there will be a a, 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 a a design of something or a photo of something so he will dip that ring that part of the seal of the ring on the wax or on the ink and then he will press it to seal to close that law before it is sent where it was it was supposed to be sent so that it will be a, a read out and be implemented so that everybody will be to be made known to everyone that there's this new law that has been passed by the king that whosoever does this will be punished in this way hallelujah to God be the Lord so it is like a seal uh, that confirms whatever law that was passed at the time it and it was won by kings hallelujah so meaning whatever law was passed it needed to be sealed by the king as a sign of this of the law being legislated hallelujah to God be the glory hallelujah so when the lord today is not actually talking about that kind of seal but i'll make an example so that you guys would have an idea in first kings chapter 21 hallelujah uh, we hear that uh, there was a king Ahab, uh, the king of the Israelites of that time. So he wanted um, Nabal's vineyard, and Nabal didn't want to give it to him. So he approached him and said, "Can you give me your vineyard, Hallelujah? Uh, and because it's next to my palace, it's either I would exchange it with you with another vineyard that I have, or either you will sell it to me, whatever amount." You will give you will tell me to 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 buy it for i will buy it for but we hear that nabor uh, and naboth refused to give the king he, 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 his vineyard he said this is my family vineyard it's an inheritance for my family hallelujah to god be the lord glory and we hear that the king was so angry and upset that he went to sleep and his wife jezebel came to him and saw that he was not happy and inquired what seems to be wrong with the king and then he inquired that he informed her that he wanted to uh, buy uh, Naboth's vineyard but he refused and she said why are you crying over that that can be sorted hallelujah and we hear now in in, in first in first kings chapter 21 verse verse 8 so Jeze jezebel wrote some letters Yeah, so in verse 8 we hear that so Jezebel wrote some letters, signed Ahab's name to them and used his own seal to seal them. Then she sent them to elders and important men who lived in Naboth's town. Hallelujah to God to the glory. Father, bless the reading of the word in Jesus' name. The signature. So now we are first hearing about the, the, about the, the, the seal. The king's heel, the king's seal, that is for misery. That she decided to do what? She wrote some letters. So not only laws were passed, even letters that were coming from the palace, they needed to have the signature ring of the king. So after she wrote these letters, she sealed them with the with uh, Ahab's uh, 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 seal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To confirm that they were coming from him. So it served as a sign that these letters were coming from where? So meaning when God is asking us, which seal is upon our life? Is that where are you coming from? Where is your origin? And the origin will be determined by the seal that is upon your life. Mara so talabasia. So not only does the seal only legislates, meaning registers you, now, God is not talking about this physical kind of a seal because this was the physical one. So there are two seals. There's a physical seal and then there will be a spiritual seal. So the Lord, when he's asking us, which seal is upon your life? He's talking about spiritual seal. 
that which signature is upon your life. Basically, when God is asking which seal is upon upon your life, He's asking which signature, which mark is upon your life. So that will determine which kingdom do you belong to. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Now, when God is talking about knowing that now, these letters were written by Jezebel and she used the, 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 the king's signature seal to seal those letters so that they can be traced their origin. So the seal does not only confirm what is written there, where it's coming from. It's also showing the, the origin of where the, in the, the communication is coming from. So now, when it's coming into the spiritual things now, if I have the seal of God upon my life, I am registered, I am reg legislated in the realm of the spirit. So meaning wicked spirit can see that I am a child of God. So the first signature that we received is the signature of salvation. That when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, we become set apart for God. For God. So that is why I'm saying there are different kinds of seals. I'm also going to come and explain to you that now after we all receive the first seal, which is our seal of salvation, there will also be another seal of your calling now. What God has called you to do for the kingdom of God. So seals are different. Mariba sobrando mela bracadosca namazia. There are different seals for different purposes. But the first seal that distinguishes us from any other seal that is apart from God is when we accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior. So we all can have the same seal of salvation. But we're also going to be distinguished upon uh, uh, the different seals of our calling. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I will come to that. So I'm also going to uh, 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 refer to another uh, book of the Lord uh, where, where uh, Esther was a uh, 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 crown as as queen at that time hallelujah so let's go to esther chapter 3 thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus i'm still addressing the physical seals né? how much of impact they have before I come to the spiritual seals, because we must first understand what, what is meant, I've defined what seal is all about. So now, we are now, now the old time is different from the current time. Now we have the government that is in charge, we have uh, uh, the cabinet that sits and decides, there's a constitution where laws are written that they ought to, they ought to be followed, hallelujah. Those who practice law, they know that everything is, is must be in 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 must be in in parallel or must be in in harmony with the law the, the constitutional law hallelujah with the laws of the constitution hallelujah also the magistrates they are guided by the constitution so even if they are giving out such sentences and judgment everything is subject to the constitution so the constitution is the overrule that rules everything hallelujah to god be the glory but those lord needed to be to be written they needed to be passed and then they were legislated hallelujah and then we find them documented in the constitution in the in the in the, in the constitution uh, 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 as part of the laws that are ought to be followed hallelujah so the way things are done now everything is documented and signed but it is also sealed by dignitaries those who are in position of issuing uh, signatures to confirm the law that has been passed by the country uh, together with the president hallelujah to god be the glory so things are where they were done in the old time and now it's totally different hallelujah to god be the glory but god wants us to have an understanding of what he's talking about so i'm gonna be moving fast hallelujah so when you go to esther esther chapter 3 we are told that uh, we have this man naban who hated all the jewish people hallelujah to god be the glory so he approached the king hallelujah and 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 brought some information about 
uh, the Jews people and he, he managed to persuade the king to grant a law. Hallelujah. So in, in Esther chapter 3 verse 8, we are hearing that, we are hearing that then Haman said to King Exorcist, there is a certain group of people scattered among the other people in all the states of your kingdom. Their customs are different from those of all the other people and they do not obey the king's laws. It is not right for you to allow them to continue living to living to living in your kingdom verse 9 if it pleases the king let an order be given to destroy those people then i will pay seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds of silver to those who do the king's business and they will put it into royal treasury hallelujah verse 10 so the king took his signature ring take note so the king took his signature ring off and gave it to Haman, son of Hama Danta, the Agitite, the enemy of the Jewish people. Verse 11. Then the king said to Haman, The money and the people are yours. Do with them as you please. So verse 12. On the 13th day of the first month, the royal secretaries were called, and they wrote out all Haman's orders. They wrote to the king's governors and to the captains of the soldiers in each state and to important men of each group of people. The orders were written in the writing of each state and in the language of each people. They were written in the name of King Exorcist and sealed with his signature ring. Verse 13, the letters were sent by messengers to all kings' empire, ordering them to destroy, kill, and completely wipe out all the Jewish people. That meant young and old women and little children too. It was to happen on the single day, the dead day of the 12th month, which was Ada. And they could take everything in Jewish people owned. Verse 14, a copy of the order was given out as a law in every state. So all the people will be ready for this day. Will be ready for that day in Jesus' mighty name. So you see, in order to legislate this law that Hamani had proposed to the king, letters needed to be wrote out and he needed to call all the governors and all the captains and all the, 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 the leaders of the other countries to come and he issued, they wrote the letter of that law specifying the law itself, what it ought to be carried out, hallelujah, and he sealed it with the signature ring of the king. So meaning there was no law that could be passed out without the signature of the king. That means that law will be null and void. It will be inactive. So what will require or, or will, will, will cause the law to be active, it must be sealed with the signature ring of the king. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So I'm quoting all these things so that we'll have an understanding of 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 how 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 important it is the signatures so now the signature the signature ring was what was used in the old testament in the old times but in the current time that we're living in in the year of millennium uh, it's signatures the physical signatures where people sign hallelujah to god be the glory hallelujah so that was how haman plotted against the, the killing of all the, the, the Jewish people. But we hear now in, in, in Esther chapter 8, uh, verse 8, that when now, after Esther had fasted with the Jewish people, and hallelujah, to God be the glory, then the king changed. So in, 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 in Esther chapter 8, verse 8, it says, okay, let's start it from verse 7. Then King Exorcus answered Queen Esther and Mordecai the Jew, because her man was against the Jewish people, I have given these things to Esther, and my soldiers have hanged him. Verse 8. Now in the king's name, write another order to the Jewish people as it seems best to you. Then seal the order with the king's signature ring, because... No letter written in the king's name and sealed with his signature can be cancelled. So how much power the seal of the king possessed? He says any letter or any law that has been passed out and be sealed with the signature of the king, it can never be cancelled. So they needed to issue a law that will counteract, counter against the law that Haman had passed on had, had, had written and sealed with the signature ring. 
So they could not cancel that law. But the only thing they could do was to issue another law that will counter against that law that was written before. And the latest law will all, is always considered. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So the latest law, that is law, that is why in the time that we are living in, laws are always being in, in, improved all the time. You may find that the law that has been active for the past 10 years, once they issue another law that is similar to that one, but there's a, an amendment to it, meaning now that one that is private will become null and void. Then the latest one will be the one that will be active, because laws cannot be cancelled. So, uh, the signature cannot be cancelled. Then verse 9, at that time the king's secretaries were called. This was the 23rd day of the dead month, which is seven. The secretaries wrote out all Mordecai's orders to the Jews, to the governors, to the captains of soldiers in each state and to the important men of 127 states that reached from India to Kush. They wrote in the writing of each state and in the language of each people. They also wrote in the Jewish people in their own writing and the language. Mordecai wrote orders in the name of the king existed and sealed the letters with the king's signature ring. Then he sent the king's orders by messengers on fast horses, horses that were raised just for the king. Verse 11, these were the king's orders. The Jewish people in every city have the right to gather together to protect themselves. They may destroy and kill and completely wipe out them. And they are to do the same to the women and children of that army. They may also take by force the property of their enemies. Verse 12, the one that set for the Jewish people to do this in all the empire of the king exercise was the 13th day of the 12th year month the month of Adah Mashatala Bakosaya. You see, that was the law that was put in contrary. We are not talking about laws. But what I'm talking about is the Lord is asking us today which seal is upon your life. Now already is Esther and Mordecai. They had the seal of the Lord. They served the Lord God Almighty. So apart from the seal of the letters that were already they needed to rise into the spiritual to fight what has already been passed on in the physical because there was a spiritual warfare that was happening between Haman and the Jewish people he hated them he did not like them hallelujah to God be the glory that he wished for them to be dead hallelujah that is why you orchestrated and did all this conniving to 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 get the king to pass the law because when he was telling the king he was not he, he did not tell the, the 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 king the full details of his of his blood he just gave him that's the test and the king because he trusted him he gave him his signature ring so that he can go and pass that law and 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 put and use his signature ring hallelujah to god be the glory but it took esther and the jewish people to enter into three days dry fasting in order for them to to deal to counter or to counter attack what has already been orchestrated in the spirituality hallelujah the law was already legislated so there was nothing they could do in the physical so the only way they could shift things and shift legislations they needed to first uh, uh, attack it in the realm of the spirit through fasting and prayer that is why esther found favor with the king because when she went into the 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 the, the, the king's uh, 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 chambers nobody could come into the into the into the into the uh, uh, um, room of the king without being summoned by the king. But she risked her life <coughs> because she already knew that they have conquered in the realm of the spirit because the seal of the Lord was upon the life of Esther and the Jewish people because they were the chosen nation for the Lord. So when the Lord is asking us which seal is upon your life, he's asking you which kingdom do you belong to? Because if you have a seal of the Lord, it will distinguish you from the people of the world, from the people of the kingdom of darkness. There will be a seal, there will be a signature, there will be a mark upon your life that distinguishes you from the rest, that you are the chosen one of the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We are told that the word seal in the New Testament, it comes from the Greek word, which means to stamp with a private mark. 
So meaning you, you get a signature. I was talking about the physical signature, and I'm talking about the spiritual signature. That the minute you become a child of God, there's a spiritual, there's a spiritual signature, there's a spiritual mark that is placed upon you. That all people from the kingdom of darkness will be able to see it. That you are not like them. You will enter into places, people will sense you. That this one is different from us. This one is not like us. You won't even need to tell people that you are a Christian. I'm not talking about the Christian who are mixing everything. I'm not talking about those ones who are going to Nyangas. Those ones are not Christian. Even if you did with your mouth declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over your life, but you are still consulting Nyangas whenever you want certain things for your life, you don't trust fully to God, you have not fully surrendered to God. I'm not talking to those Christians because that mark is not there. I'm talking about those ones who have surrendered their lives unto Christ. Those ones will have that signature mark. They will have that private mark in the realm of the spirit that the demons will be able to tell. Well, this one we cannot take the way we want. We have to strategize in order to attack this one. We have to do research. We have to send monitoring spirit. We have to do, you work with the familiar spirit to find out, to correct the information about this one so that we can see whether if there an opening that we can use in order to strike this one. This one is not an easy one. This one has a covering. So meaning the minute you become a child of God, you have, the, you have been sealed with the mark that, that distinguish you from the rest. Rest. Then you are placed with the covering of the Lord. So nothing can just attack you anyhow, any anyway. So they must sit down and blot in order to attack you. You are not just an easy target. Then those who are in the world who are not of Christ, who have not separated themselves, they become the puppet of the devil. He uses them anytime he wants. Whatever sickness and disease he wants to try, he try it on them because they are still under the curse of the law. You are no longer under the curse of the law. The minute you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, but even though you still have to work on your salvation, you still have to have a relationship with the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah to God be the glory. And then someone will say, what is the purpose of the seal? The purpose of the seal, it is to protect, it is to preserve, it is to, to seal that object. So for you to be fully sealed, to be fully protected, to be fully covered, you need to separate yourself. So that would what will determine what seal is upon your life. So the seal is not only there just to mark you, but it is also there to preserve you. It is also there to also protect you. But when you say you are a child of God and you still fornicate, you still lie, you still cheat, you still, you still uh, 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 hold offense, you still uh, 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 don't forgive people, you expose yourself. The minute there's an opening, the protection is removed from you. Get that. You, may have, you might have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You might have been marked with the mark that you are now separated. But, and the, the minute you accepted Jesus Christ at that point, the mark was put on you and the seal of protection was put, was put also on you. You were preserved for God under his protection. The firmament of protection was put upon you, was put upon you. But the minute you compromise your salvation, the, 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 the seal of protection or that preservation or that covering, there's a, there, there will be a crack which will cause an opening. So meaning you will become exposed to the spiritual, to, 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 to the kingdom of darkness. So they will come and afflict you. They will come and do all sorts of things. And you'll be wondering, but I love God. Why am I going through so many things? But you have not checked yourself. What opening have you opened that caused you to be afflicted in such kind of way? There are afflictions that are part of your journey that are meant to, to, to help you with your growth and to elevate you to another higher ranking of your anointing. Those ones are, are, are pre-programmed by God that you need to go through and you need to conquer them so that you'll be elevated to the next level. But there are some that we are the ones that have, op have caused the opening that gave access to, the, to the, uh, the spirit of the kingdom of darkness to come and afflict our lives. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I said to you, as much as there's the seal of salvation that you receive, that there's also another seal of your calling where God determines and the gift that he will put on you, what what calling he what 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 gift he will give you 
based on the calling that is placed upon your life. Hallelujah. Now let's go to 2 Timothy. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2. Now Paul here was encouraging Timothy. Hallelujah. In his work. So he was telling him how to be a loyal soldier for Christ. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So now let's take note of this. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. It says, in a large house, there, there are not only things made of gold and silver, but also things made of wood and clay. Some things are used for special purposes and others are made for ordinary jobs. Verse 21, all who make themselves clean from evil. Take note, all who make themselves clean from evil will be used for special purposes they will be made holy useful to the master ready to do any good work verse 22 but run away from the evil desires of your youth try hard to live right and to have faith love and peace together with those who trust in the lord from pure heart hallelujah to god be the glory we are told that there are many vessels. It says in a large house, there are not only things made of gold and silver. There are also some made of wood and clay. Some things are useful for special purposes. And others are made for ordinary jobs. Verse 21, and all who make themselves clean from evil will be used for special purposes. They will be made wholly useful to the master, ready to do any good work. That is why I'm saying, apart from us being children of God, it depends on your level of consecration. It depends on the level of your relationship with the Lord. You are the one who will determine yourself, who will separate yourself, whether you want to be a vessel of honor or a vessel of dishonor. It is you. It is all up to you. As he's saying that in that large house, which is the house of the Lord, the house of the Lord is a large house. It's open for everyone. But yet, as much as it's open for everyone, the Bible is saying that there are many vessels. He's saying in that very large house of the Lord, that there are vessels that are made of silver, there are vessels that are made of gold. There are also vessels that are made of wood. There are also vessels that are made of clay. So you will determine yourself by your work with the Lord. Whether do you want to become a vessel of silver? Do you want to become a vessel of gold? Do you want to become a vessel of clay? Do you want to become a vessel of wood? It will all be determined. So verse 21 is now explaining to you. What it is also up to you what kind of a vessel you want to become. Because all these verses are available in one house. So that is why I'm saying there are different seals that we do have that God will give unto us based on the capacity that we have on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Now in verse 1, he said, All who make themselves clean from evil, who consecrate themselves through fasting and prayer, and cry before the Lord for God to keep them holy, for God to keep them to walk in righteousness. He said that they will be used for special purposes. Those ones that are used for special purposes, those are the silver one and the gold one. He says those ones will be made holy because they will be made for special purposes. So they cannot be used anyhow, anywhere. They will be made holy, usable for the master. So there are those who will dine with the master. Not everyone will dine with the master. So it will be determined by the type of seal that is upon your life. Apart from the seal of salvation. Now these are the different seals that the Lord was talking about. The seal of gold, the seal of silver, the seal of clay, the seal of wood. So you will determine yourself that what kind of a seal do you want to become. So he says those who separate themselves from evil. Who make sure that they don't do evil things. Then God sees them fit for him to keep them holy. 
to use them for special purposes. Male brado sam rando mela kazurianda mela kazaya. Ashatana masila mahaya. So that is why the Lord today is asking, which seal is upon your life? We are told now in John 36, verse 27. Don't work for the food that spoils. Work for the food that stays good always and gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give you this food because on him God the Father has put his power on you. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So the minute we have the seal of the Lord upon your life, you are filled with power. You will be filled with power to overcome anything that come against you. You will be gifted with spiritual food, spiritual gifting. Fruits of the Spirit will be manifested upon your life. And anything that come against you, you'll be able to overcome. You'll always come out victorious. It doesn't mean that the enemy will not try to come and afflict you and do whatsoever, but you'll not succeed. Because the seal of the Lord has been placed upon your life. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So the Lord is asking us so that we will perfect our work with him and become those special vessels that are of honor, not of dishonor. But it is all up to, all up to us. Then in Revelation, Revelation chapter 6, Revelation chapter 6, verse 9. When the lamp, when, when, when the lamp opened the fifth seal, and so under the altar of the souls of those who had been killed because they were faithful to the word of God and to the message they had received. Verse 10, these, uh, these souls shouted in a loud voice, Holy and true Lord, how long until you judge the people of the earth and punish them for killing us. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Now we are told that there was the fifth seal of those people who died in, 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 in salvation who died for God who died for Christ for standing for the truth for preaching the true gospel those who were killed so there are seven seals that we are told about that John saw in his vision hallelujah to God the glory and they are explained what seal represented each seal represented hallelujah to God be the glory hallelujah Hallelujah. So there are different kind of seals that are upon our lives as children of God. That we were, were, were placed by the Spirit of the Lord as gifting upon us based on how God has called us. And also the seals of the gifts of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. That will be manifested upon our lives. They all come as a result of the seal that is upon our lives. But who determines all those seals to come into manifestation or to come into a, 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 a full operation? It is based on our relationship and fellowship with the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah to God be the glory. So as much as we are sealed, as much as we are chosen, as much as we are placed with the mark of the Lord, but what will determine our full protection and our preservation unto the Lord is based on our intimate relationship with the Lord, is based on our cultivation of our relationship with the Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that this message has blessed you and it will uh, uh, cause you to, 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 to elevate your relationship with the Lord to another dimension. In Jesus' mighty name, I love you all with the love of Christ in Jesus' name.